everybody, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with the weekly astrological message, this time from October 3rd to October 11th or 12th, 2021. We are in the midst of a very strong Mercury retrograde. Don't be surprised if communication is blundered and uh, um, your computer, internet and smartphone are misbehaving. If things are miscalculated or misguided or um, there are un unforeseen you know obstacles along the way schedules are changing as people who follow astrology we we can accept it with a smile you know we could gracefully understand that these are the times and not let it ruin our days you know just yesterday I had a very important meeting with a doctor in the hospital that I've been waiting for for a couple of months and because of a bureaucratical bi mishap on their fault we couldn't have the meeting since I am an astrologer I know everything is exact you know and I could really accept it gracefully and that's why I say astrology helps me become a better man or a better woman or a better person because we are better able to transcend some of the lower emotional nature, reactive emotional nature that we have as human beings. Talking about reactional emotionality, it's, you know, ample in the sky right now. We have a triple conjunction in the sky and a new moon, a new lunation in um, the 6th of October. It's a triple conjunction between Mars and the Sun and Mercury and they're all opposing Chiron. The Sun opposed Chiron already on the 2nd of October. And that's something that happens every year and it's an amazing time for self-healing or self-inflicting of harm or healing of relationships and love and romance and self-becoming and manifesting yourself on Earth and taking part in the game of life because you believe in love and life and light again or indeed touching our own pains in a way that is debilitating, crippling, and um, hurtful. But the great thing about Chiron is that it stands for taking away, you know, and pinning off tendencies and behavioral patterns that we used to have in the past, and indeed maybe we even needed them in the past to feel secure, to feel safe, or to grow and develop, but are no longer needed for our future. So we can bravely, bravely discard them as the snake does its scales, knowing that it would be soft and tender in the next days after the shedding. And it needs to be brave in order to grow. And we're pretty much the same. So this is a very intense time on the one hand with a lot of male energies, you know, a short fuse, a lot of sexual energies, a lot of needs and wants that need to be answered immediately, impulsivity, um, thinking of ourselves, not necessarily of others, and heated communication, conversation, independent thought, untactful uh, um, mediations, and so on. This is not the best time in the sky to keep ourselves calibrated and under check, you know, and tactful. So. That's why I'm giving you a heads up. And we know we have a new moon joining in that triple conjunction. That means that the whole lunar cycle of 29 and a half days is going to be tinted and colored by the same energies. And remember, if we're talking about the new moon in the 6th, if we're talking about the new moon in the 6th in Libra, it's going to be in effect from the 5th until the 7th. That means that any kind of energy that passes through you the day before, the day after is going to be imprinted and stay with you over the next lunar cycle. So do whatever you can to remain positive and happy during the days of the lunar imprinting, the fifth to the seventh. We we'll go back to the to the new moon in a second, but I want to talk about some other things happening in the sky. Mercury, the planet of thought communication is in retrograde as we said but it is trining Jupiter so it's an amazing time to understand things on a wider scale to open up our horizon and see things from above to zoom out a minute 
it's a good time to sign deals or write or plan within this Mercury retrograde time. And it's an amazing time to expand your social circles, the people you know or know about you. That's happening on the 4th and it's here to stay for a couple of days at least. The 5th is the ninth day in the sky, I have nothing bad to say about it. And the 6th itself is the new moon in the 13th degree of Libra and conjunct Mars, trining Saturn, conjunct Mercury, opposing Chiron. So all of these energies that I've been talking about before, I just want to add in that whenever the Sun and another planet meet, that's a new cycle for that planet. So Mars and Mercury are both starting a new cycle. It's a rebirth of a cycle for Mars, two and a half years for Mercury, three months. And they're both in the midst of the Sun, in the heart of the Sun, in a state called Kazemi together. Usually a state of Kazemi when Mercury is in the heart of the Sun is an amazing time to actually think of the next three months and how we want them to be and what we, we would like to change in our ways and what our goals are. And just to look at things from a, a broad perspective. But when Mars is there, the initiative is much stronger. The need to go forward, the driving force, the immediacy is much stronger. And that's what drives heated conversation, unwillingness to compromise or impulsivity. You know, that could lead to individualiza individualization processes, which are not a bad thing, you know, but sometimes we don't need to separate from our job or spouse just in order to get that individuality, to get to that individuality, to that independence. Um, and when Mars is in the heart of the Sun opposing Chiron, it's an amazing time to think of our own action, our own individual actions, our wants and needs, things that we feel we are loyal to within ourselves, our goals and aspirations. And indeed, what in our actions and needs and wants and cravings is true for our future, positive for our future and beneficial for us, what isn't anymore? It is also a time that we might inflict self-harm and see the unhealthy tendencies that one has, whether around us or within us, in a brighter light, a clearer light. Um, the seventh in the sky isn't very emotionally um, calibrated and, and, and you know under control. So really watch your tact. On the 7th, we have a trine from the Moon to Jupiter while it is squaring Pluto. The 8th itself is the day that Mars actually begins its new cycle. It is in Kazemi. It is in the heart of the Sun. It's a great day to do a little ceremony and think about who we are, what we are, what we are loyal to within ourselves and how our actions reflect that. How do we respect ourselves. Do we respect ourselves? And how do our actions reflect that? Um, we could see a lot of what we really think of ourselves through our actions. And rem remember that Mars is also in charge of sexuality and, and um, attraction. So many things, things we are attracted to and people we're attracted to stem out of something that isn't necessarily healthy within us. Some kind of deficit, some kind of trauma. This is an amazing time, the 8th, to look at it. Other than that, it's not a tolerant day. Okay, watch out from lashing out on people. Yes, Georgia, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, if I, if I ever talked harshly to you, I am sorry, but I'm recording a video, so I need you to be quiet. Thank you for understanding. It's okay. <laughs> the 10th, we have Mercury and Mars conjunct, Mercury, Kazemi in the heart of the sun. Again, a great day for ceremonies, thinking of how you would like to interact and play forward in your life in the next three months. And then the 10th, just a beautiful day of the, in the sky, full of sextiles. And the 11th, half-half, so-so. 
I want to remind you we are in the midst of the Mercury retrograde that's going to end on the 18th of October, but we're still going to be in the Mercury shadow until the 2nd or the 3rd of November, November and feel it. I want to remind you also that there's private lessons, courses for beginners in, on Zoom, private lessons with me, or uh, readings that are in special prices. You can contact me. All the details are at the slide at the end of the video in the slide at the end of the video. I want to thank you for sharing these and commenting on them. This is Nia Fire saying that I wish that we all live long and prosper healthily and happily. Amen. Bye-bye.